Billy Pacing for Pink celebration here at Club and Angle for the McGrath Foundation running much needed funds for nurses to help that particular organisation has been met with some wonderful support from organisations including the latest sensations in the A-League here, the MacArthur FC Bulls. Grant McFadden, the Corporate Manager for Partnerships, joins me now. Well Grant, great to catch up with you representing MacArthur FC. Now Grant, a wonderful organisation, the McGrath Foundation and for the MacArthur FC to be behind it, wonderful uh, as far as you're concerned. Yeah, it is. Uh, I think everyone within Australia knows the great work McGrath Foundation does. So when the opportunity uh, was um, raised with us to support it, um, we jumped on board straight away. We're, we're very happy to support. Great, your first impressions being here at Club and Angle. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Um, I've been here a couple of times to catch up with their corporate team, um, but to walk into the room today and see the room decked out in pink and all the ladies lovely, um, looking lovely, uh, yeah. Very, very impressed. The atmosphere coming from the room, just one of uh, great joy. Yeah, there is, there is. We've had some great speakers, uh, but equally the trots have been getting around the track and there's been plenty of excitement with um, everyone having a bit, bit of a flutter. So, yeah, it's been good. Two seasons into the A-League, MacArthur FC, you must be pleased with the way you're trending. Yeah, we are, we are. We sort of made finals last year and we, um, I think the hurdle of COVID and a few games that got postponed probably hurt us the most, but boys did really well and we just missed out on the finals finishing seventh. But the, to offset that you did finish ahead of Sydney club. Yeah we're the leading Sydney club we'll take that for now but knowing um, you know where the um, the ownership group and the, 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 the playing group and the coaching staff where they want to be it's you know it's not where we want to be we want to be a lot higher than that. And the club they have owners with very strong roots as far as this area is concerned. Yeah, yeah, the ownership group, um, they work tirelessly behind behind closed doors. Um, they're great supporters of the local community. They've been around here a while, and, and that's why we get these introductions to great places like Club and Angle, and we're, we're, we're really happy to support. As far as the growth in this particular area, Grant, it just seems to be going on at a rapid rate. It's also pleasing for MacArthur FC and also Club and Angle here. We're waiting for all these new developments to go ahead. MacArthur must also be looking forward to it. Yeah, I guess um, with all the land releases that they've got going through the Menangle area, I'm hearing it's five to 8,000 new properties. That means five to 8,000 new families, um, hopefully. And then it's up to us and our marketing team and our membership team to sort of get those people involved and, and fall in love with MacArthur Bulls. And just two seasons, as I mentioned, you must be delighted with the response you are getting from the local community. Yeah, we are. We've got a lot of local businesses and that's, I guess, that's the centre of what we're trying to do. Um, you know, we're MacArthur by name, MacArthur by nature, so it's important that we really, really dig into that local community, those local businesses, and get them on board. Grant, could you see a partnership developing here at Club and Angle with the Harness Racing and the MacArthur FC? Yeah, definitely. We've all, we're sort of deep into talks as it is. We've 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 got a great program called Club 100, which connects all the local businesses, so the people within our corporate program, and that's connecting those. And we have anywhere from four to six um, networking events a year, and we're already you know deep into talks about holding one of those here because they've got a great facility. The new season, you've got another very strong roster? Uh, yeah, they're working through that at the moment at the top there. We have um, recently signed Dwight York. Um, former uh, Man United striker, uh, Trinidad and Tobago. So first come into the A-League uh, with Sydney FC back in its uh, early inception. But, you know, we're really happy to have him on board as our, our coach going into next year. And it's always good to get a marquee player or a coach to that extent. Yeah, someone like Dwight will certainly attract um, some interest from players within the European circuit. So, And we've also got a great stable of young talent coming through through our NPL development program. So, yeah, look, I think... We're in a really good position. Um, my job is to, you know, go out there and get more corporate partners. And we've got a great membership team doing that too. And then we leave the rest of it up to our ownership group and our, our coaching staff. And how strong is the local area as far as the FC is concerned? Uh, yeah, yeah, very strong, very strong. It's a growing community, right? So Southwest is the fastest growing community in Australia. We know that. Everyone knows that. New airport coming in, more land releases. So there's going to be more people coming out this way. So. It's just really important for us to make sure we get that Bulls logo in front of everyone that comes in um, and get as many people to a game as possible to support us. Graham, it's been great to catch up with you. Congratulations on MacArthur FC and their involvement here with the McGrath Foundation and hopefully we'll be seeing you at Club and Angle on a far more regular basis, maybe in a partnership. Yeah, no, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Thank you very much.